Hey there, welcome back. And I wanted to take you through a model today, which is hopefully gonna help you understand why being a leader is quite so challenging. And the different forces or some of the different forces that play on you that make being a leader really difficult. So let's hop across to the iPad here. And if I just draw a quick circle with L in the center, and that's us as a leader. And one of the, the first core forces that we have to wrangle with as a leader is the tension between the idea of being strategic and the idea of operational success. And, and that often for a leader can be really difficult because you have to make a plan and you have to come up with things, but then also you're down in the weeds doing the doing often and, and that can be really hard. And so how do you stretch yourself between these two and how do you manage that? The other common tension that we find as leaders is the tension between profit and people. And so again, do you focus on making the money or do you focus on leading the people? And what we're going to explore as we unpack this little model is that if you do too much or too little of each of these things, then there can be some consequences. So the axes that we've got here, these two tension lines, uh, we can take a look in some of the different wedges that start to emerge. Let's start at the, the top then uh, of the model, which is where our strategy and our profit are our focus. Now, if we focus on strategy and profit, then we tend to find a business that is vision or innovation focused. And so as a leader, your energy is going into that, uh, then that tends to be the outcome. Um, Equally, if we don't do a lot of that, then the outcome tends to be that our business gets left behind by the competition. So we're not thinking big picture, we're not thinking long term, we're not thinking about how do we make money long term, uh, we tend to get left behind by our competitors. Let's move around then to uh, profit and operations. If we have a high focus on profit and operations, what we tend to see is an efficient, lean business. So doing things well through being uh, profitable, efficient, cost-effective, and being operationally uh, sound. If we go to the lower end of this scale, then what we see are businesses with high loss and lots of waste going on. So um, things being duplicated, mistakes being made, corners being cut, costs being cut, uh, because they haven't got that focus on the profit uh, and on operational effectiveness. If we move to the bottom section, uh, people and operations, uh, we, if we have a high focus there, what we tend to have here are efficient people processes. And we also see uh, good leadership. So leaders and leadership teams that focus on people and operations tend to have good, effective people processes in place. Equally, if we don't have a focus on people and operations, um, what we can end up with is the wrong people in the wrong places at the wrong time. Um, that famous quote of get the right people in the right seats on the bus is the opposite of that. So not paying enough attention to payroll, not paying enough attention to uh, promotion, to talent, to recruitment, to people processes. And then the final quadrant that we want to have a look at is the strategic people. And if we have a high focus on strategic and people, what we tend to see is a phenomenon called workforce planning taking place effectively, and we see good engagement in the business uh, happening. So uh, people are engaged, discretionary effort is high, value is high, uh, and workforce planning is what might we need in the future in our workforce? Uh, who have we got right now that could potentially fill those roles, do those roles, or grow into those roles? And what are we gonna to do to bridge those two criteria? If we have a low focus on people strategy and strategic people issues, what we tend to see are businesses who are losing talent to our competitors. So what you can do here is you can start to do a bit of a, a diagnostic for yourself. How far on each of these quadrants are you from the center? Uh, and therefore, what is the impact that's taking place? on your business uh, and what we're seeing with a lot of organizations right now is that they're being left behind and they're losing talent through the great resignation through lack of innovation because they've been focusing so much on the more operations side of their business 
And so what we're doing when we're talking to businesses is we're using this diagnostic model to understand where they're sitting, what's happening for them, and then potentially how we can help them. What I'll do in the next video is I will talk about two other forces that apply to leaders, which make it even more complicated. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Hope that helps. Speak soon.